Hey there, Ventex here. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We are on our Stealth Archer Permadeath, and we are about to be on Day 14 Horde. I need to see if there's any water sources closer by. We need to get our base ready for this 14-day Horde. It is coming up quick, and this one's going to be a lot tougher than the last one because I bumped the zombies all the way up to max. So it's going to be an interesting night. We need to get our base completed by then in time. I know there's water over here. I wish there was one closer, though. Hmm. Might have to look around a little bit. I need a lot more buckets. We're going to make probably another three trips or so. I believe there's water up there in that tower. I believe that's a water tower here. Probably get the water from here if we need it. Let's see. I don't see any other close sources. Let's get in here and get this water. We've already cleared this area before. Uh, but we need a fast way up. So we'll go ahead and do this right here. And right here. I'll give us a quick way up. Alright, out of stamina. There should be water in here. This is a water tower. No, it's empty. Damn. <laughs> Tricked me. Alright, where's my bike at? There it is. Can't waste too much time with that kind of stuff. I know there are water sources nearby. A few lakes nearby. Set the focus on those, even if they're a little further away. Ah, here's one. Okay, so right up the road, 300 meters. Let's go ahead and mark this one on the map. Oh, I could just look right here, too. That'd help. Yeah, there's none near me. These are the two closest ones. All right. Bucket of water. Bucket of water. And here it is. I could get some more iron and make some more buckets, but it's not a huge deal to me right now. I don't want to waste that much iron. I just want enough to get this going. Oh, going through the trees. So yeah, the most of today we'll probably spend on working on the base. I still got a little bit more to go. Not too much. I should be able to get it done in time. The only other thing I wanted to do is add a pole, a couple more supports, and then the last bit of it. Okay, there's water there. Water there. So right now you can move through it normally, so will the zombies. Okay, how do I make it higher? That's the goal, I need to make it higher, the water. I can't get it to go above this one. Ah, oh, here it is, finally. So that's them, that's what they're going to look like moving slowly. There we go, we finally got it to go above one. Okay, it's going to work then, good. I was worried there because I was adding a lot of water and it wasn't doing anything to it. But I'm glad to see that. Okay, it's going away. That's not good. Why is it going away? Maybe I need to put it up here? Now it's gone. Yeah, it keeps going away. Damn. Well, maybe this won't work now. Now I got less water in here. How does that work? How do I have less water in here now? It's not coming down here, it's not seeping through. Dang. That's annoying. Why aren't you working? 
See, I move the same speed, and so would the zombies. That's not what we want. Hmm. How, how, how? Is it these stairs? Are they not solid enough? I mean, it seems to work right there. I don't know. Will it stay, though, or does it disappear, too? Oh, this ain't good. I thought we were doing okay. I thought only a few more trips and we'd be okay, but the water is not staying at that second level like I need it to. It's going back down. And that's terrible. I wanted the zombies to move through it slowly, but that's not happening right now. We're wasting gas too, but we got plenty of fuel, thankfully, and with the fuel saver, we'll be alright. It's better work. It's worked before. Okay, three more buckets. We might go ahead and get some more iron and make another bucket or something. See if we can't speed up this process. There are some other things I could try. I could try to do kind of like a dam. Gate a section off. Put some water in there. Fill it up too high. Gate a section off. Put some water in there. Fill it up too high. I might try that as well. Okay, this one's staying there. Let me get my frames. Let me put my frames down here. Let me do this. I don't know if this will work. We'll try to do it like a dam, I think, maybe. And then after that, we'll collapse the blocks and see how that works. Oh, we got some water out here. There we go. That makes it a little bit easier. Okay, that didn't do nothing. That didn't do anything. There we go. Oh, we got... Why is this not there? Oh, we need one stair here. Let's see. Stair. A full stair, which is here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and... There we are. Okay. So, it seems like the dam idea is working. At least for the time being. I'm hopeful. And then I can release it a little bit at a time, and that should do it. And then fill in the holes from there. Okay, this is holding good. Alright, that's full up. Oh no! <laughs> I fell in! I can't get up! Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, nope. Come on. Give me up, give me up, give me up. There we are. Oof. Oh. Can I take these away now? Nope. Let me do one at a time. Why is it dark again? Make up your mind. Do you want to be dark and rainy or do you want to... Oh, I thought I heard a zombie. Do you want to be dark and rainy or do you want to be bright and shiny? Pick a, pick a choice. Here goes with the rain again. What's some bipolar weather we got here? Here we are. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I got more water here. On the stair. Can I put this here? Ah, check that out. It worked. So this will be the zombies. Trying to get to us. Very, very slowly. This is as fast as you can move. 
This could be excellent. Now, if I only could get out. Please, get out. I gotta get through this way again. On to the next water gate. This is working. Another little bit of water here. Okay, let me come up here. I'm gonna put one right here. There we are. More water. I might go buy more iron and make another bucket. This is gonna save some time. If we can get five buckets, that should be good. How much iron do we have in here? We have... I don't see any bars. Looking very quickly. We have a lot of steel. I need iron. Let's go to the trader real quick. It would be nice if he had water in here. Uh, inventory. I need a bucket. Or I need supplies, resources. Okay, he doesn't have any iron bars. Actually, damn. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Really wish you had some water in here. That'd be great. Off we go. Alright, let me get up here. Perfect. Take this block. Okay, let me get this water here. Excellent. Now I gotta take these away. Oh, come on. I'll try to jump. Come on. Oh, golly. This is hard to get up. This little block. It's difficult. There we are. Okay, let's put this down here. We'll pick this one up. And put this one down here. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. That's what we wanted all along. A few more buckets. I think we're actually going to do okay with this. I think this is working out. The dam situation, or the dam idea, actually proved very useful. I feel like if we didn't do that, it would have been a lot more of a pain in the butt to get two water high across the board. Now I'm wondering if I put a half block down, if that's going to interfere with the water. You wouldn't think it would, but who knows when it comes to seven days to die water physics. There goes that. Alright. Now we got this side. A little bit more water. Perfect. Okay, any water down the stairs? Anything down here? Everything looks like it's holding up pretty good. Oh, some thunder! It is getting closer to Horde Night, so we are on our last water run. This should be it. After this, our water portion of the base is going to be completed. And then we can finish up the rest of it. I think I'll do a small little thing for the rest of it, because I don't have that much time. My guy is hungry, so I need to make sure he's fed and ready to go for the Horde Night. So let's get on over here. Let's hurry up. We don't got much time left. This is going to be a crazy Horde Night. So if we come up here, you can see everything look pretty good. Let's go ahead and upgrade this to cobble. Uh-oh, or cement, whatever. Very nice. We got one more bucket to put here. And then my water is completed. Now, I wanted to test one thing, I guess. I can test it now. I got a little bit of time. If I make a frame, a block, right here, three quarters, or no, a half. And I put it there, will that mess anything up? No, and it'll still make them move slow. It should. So if I do this right here, they still move slow. And I can still shoot them above the water, so this is actually perfect. See, look. They move slow and I can see their head above the water. That's exactly what I wanted. 
I'm so glad I didn't mess up with the water physics. I was afraid of that. How much cobble do we have? We have enough. That's the answer that I was wanting. Try not to use that cement or the concrete that I have. Perfect, so this is how fast they'll move. And then I need to finish up the, with the rest of it real quick. We need some more pillars to go down for support. Right here. And on this side as well. Okay, it's really important that we get the pillars to cobble more than anything. We got enough cobble. All right. Now the end of it. Let's go ahead and put ourselves. Actually, we can go down here and do it. We want to go out. So about here. And here, and here, and here, and there, and there, and there. Okay, I might put frames here for another support. I think that's good. Where is it? Right here. Perfect. Oh. Right there, actually. Oh, that's actually one over. Let's do it like this. Perfect. This will be plenty of room. That's perfect right there. Okay, now we're going to do above ground, kind of like what we did underground. I need more cobble, I think. Thank God for this nail gun, huh? Look how fast this is to upgrade. Yeah, we're on the last bit of cobble. Alright. Now let's come up here. Go ahead and parkour. I do want to get the sides up here up. It's important to go ahead and get this right here. Uh oh. So I'm going to put some ramps. This might be a little bit too kind of ambitious. It might get us into trouble making this kind of base right now. With this much time left. I'm going to put this right... Where is it? Where do I want it? No, 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 no. Come on. Where's the right way? Not that way. No. I want it this way. Let's see. Advance. Here it is. That's what I wanted. I want this one to do the same. And then regular frames... We're going to go out like this. Uh-oh, we don't got time. And then, like, here. Uh, 
Okay, this is gonna be close. Unfortunately, it's gonna be close. Just kind of ran out of time. I still need to eat. My character's starving to death now. Thanks to all this planning that we're doing. Right across here. And then off this way. Uh oh. Okay, on this side. We need iron as well. And then back this way. I missed a block there. Now I mean my ramps again. Right there. Let's go ahead and advance. Oh, I missed it. Where are you? There you are. Here. And on this side. Perfect. And then same for here. And on this side. Where are you? Come on. There it is. Alright. At the very least, let me get this to the second stage of wood. There we are. And this I want concrete or a cobble. Probably here too. Okay. Cobble here as well. All right, I need food. Uh oh, I need to get out. <laughs> I need a way out. Right here. I am starving. Do I have anything to eat? Nope. Okay. It's almost time. Come on, bike. Get me to there. I need some meat. Here we are. I need some health kits, just in case. And I need, I got repair kits, I got drink. All right, all right. Oh, I need iron. Iron is the last thing I need. Do I have any in here that I need? Let me see. I got 3,000 on me. That should be enough. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait. Let me grab my clay. Just so I can make some more cobble while I'm chilling. It's about that time. We got to get a roof on this thing. Pick up. I need to make some hatches. Uh, let's make two, two, four. Four of them should work. Here we go. Let's get over here. Let's put the hatch right here where a bottle of water is. Alright, I think for the roof I need to just go ahead and put something up for now. Let me do the half block. Get rid of that. Here we are. Advanced. This will have to do. It is time. Here we go. Hatch.
Here we are. Alright. This is going to be very bad. I did not get done in time. This is not going to be good. Oh, especially that right there because I didn't close it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. So this is what we're going to have to do. Oh, they're going to tear that up, aren't they? Because they can't get out any other way. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 this is it. This is it. Damn it, I didn't finish the base in time. No. That is my bad. I did not finish the base in time. I thought I'd be done a lot. I thought I'd be done a lot um, sooner than what I was. I didn't get a roof on, and that was the biggest thing. Damn. See, all I had to do, all I had to do was remember to put a block here and strengthen it, and I would have been just fine. I didn't even need two hatches. I could just use one hatch right here. I would have been just fine right here, and... Honestly, thinking about this, a three corridor is probably too much. I probably could have funneled them into one and made myself a lot easier. It would have took a lot less time and a lot less of a build. But nope. I got overconfidence. And overconfidence is an insidious killer, as you all know. So damn, that's going to have to do it, I guess, for our stealth archer playthrough. But... Honestly, I'm not too upset with it. I mean, I did make a stupid decision there at the end uh, Cool base idea. It does work as you can see the zombies were moving slow the dog could even move I tried to shoot the dog, but it looked like it hit the water and the arrow broke So I don't know if that is an issue Let me see is this my bag. Where's my bag? Let me check something real quick if I shoot a arrow at the water does the arrow break? Because that could have been a big flaw in my plan as well. I know that the bullets will go through. Wow. Okay, so the water... I know I, know I got half blocks here, but it appears like the water is stopping my arrow. Like, it's on top of the water. It's like going through... Like, as soon as it hits the water, that's it. Like, it's not even going through to this half block. Or maybe it is, who knows. The arrows did not work through though with this base. This base is a good base. With a 7.62 rifle. Easy headshots all day, especially if I made it one wide so that we could funnel through them. And if you have a perk such as the penetrator, this lets you shoot through multiple organic targets. So I could actually probably prop this up to make it level with this and shoot one bullet and hit several zombies in the head, which would be awesome. But yeah, a lot of flawed decisions, a lot of stuff that we learned. I swear, let me try the other water source because from what I'm seeing, it doesn't appear the arrows can go through water. It appears the water blocks the arrows. Let me check that out. A oh, freaking horde night, man. I swear. But I'm not too upset with it, honestly. I did enjoy the knife and the archery, but I was getting kind of bored there towards the end. Guns in Seven Days to Die are amazing. I've always enjoyed gunplay. And now I actually get to go back and use a gun. Because I think we'll continue on with another permadeath through. Permadeath playthrough. But this time we'll actually use firearms. We won't have to worry about sneaking and taking a million years to get through a, a little tier 4 kind of place. We could just go through with the guns blazing. And I think that would be a lot more exciting to watch. Not that the stealth archery didn't have its perks, but yeah, let's go with guns this coming up playthrough. We'll keep zombies on sprint always. We'll probably up the zombies difficulty. Uh, the difficulty I don't really care for too much because it mostly just makes them bullet sponges. They take more damage and they do more damage. Uh oh. A little lag here. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Okay. There we go. Seven days to die just kind of pooped a little bit. It might be that 64 zombie horde. That is crazy. My guy's overburdened. Let me go ahead and wear some of this stuff. I just want to test something real quick. I'm curious if the arrows hitting the water is a big deal. So here's some water here. Let me crouch down here. Did that go through the water? It looked like it did. Hmm, it's hard to tell, isn't it? It's looking like it's going through. No, wait, look at that right there. The arrow stopped in the water block. As soon as the arrow hit the water block, it stops. Wow. So the it, it looks like the water block stops the arrows from going. Okay. That sucked. Yeah, that was a poor base design based on my build. <laughs> but this is the first time I've used archery in a long time. I know they buffed it with this uh, recent beta, Alpha 20. I know before archery was pretty garbage, so I did not know the water blocks can stop the arrows. But I hope you guys enjoyed this stealth archery playthrough. I hope you're looking forward to another playthrough with guns. And that's going to be it, though, for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out the Twitter and Discord down in the description. I'll see you guys next time.